This is the resource creation assignment. Under this, I am considering the digital multimeter topic of subject electronic measurement and instruments. So with the resource creation assignment and with the TPS activity, the assignment is after watching video, students should be able to identify the blocks in the block diagram. So which blocks are required in digital multimeter. The second point is the current activity extends this to draw the complete block diagram of electronic instruments namely here it is DMM digital multimeter and solve the problem on resolution. So within this activity that is out of class activity the objectives learning objectives are after watching video students should be able to draw the block diagram of digital multimeter and connection between each block function of each block and then solve the resolution problem the key concept covered are digital multimeter block diagram and the resolution so with the digital multimeter the different functions are carried out by the digital multimeter so it we are using the digital multimeter for DC voltage measurement for AC voltage measurement for current measurement and for resistance measurement so basic block is ADC analog to digital converter or that is what we are calling as DC digital voltmeter DVM so DC that means input for that DVM is a DC voltage so it can measure that DC voltage and display with the help of counter and digital display so basic block is ADC so to measure the AC voltage additional block will be required so what is that so it will be rectifier and compensated attenuator so with the DC voltage measurement normal attenuator just voltage divider sort of a thing is sufficient one but with the AC voltage we require compensated attenuator so attenuation factor we want as an independent of frequency so that is why R and C parallel combination RC is required that is what we are calling as a compensated attenuator to measure the current again basic block is ADC DC DVM what will be the additional block so it will be current to voltage converter so current will be converted into DC voltage and that DC voltage will be given to DC DVM ADC to measure the resistance again basic block will be ADC as it is DC DVM but what will be the additional block that is required for resistance measurement is constant current source so that constant current will be passing through the resistance so voltage across that resistance is given as the input for that DC DVM so these are the additional blocks those are required of course decayed counter and digital display will be required or those are the additional blocks so the total block diagram will be like this with the digital multimeter so basic attenuator ADC A to D converter decayed counter and digital readout or digital display for AC voltage measurement it will be compensated attenuator rectifier so AC voltage will be converted into DC and DC input is given to ADC or that is DC DVM for current measurement current is converted into voltage by current to voltage converter so again the DC voltage will be given as the input for that EDC for resistance measurement constant current source is there so that current is passing through the resistance 
so dc voltage once again it is given as the input for that adc so this is the block diagram of that complete block diagram of that digital multimeter dmm now with the digital multimeter resolution that is more so we are considering that as a, some display digital display so that is something like three and half four and half digit display so what is the meaning of that three and half display so three full digits and first one very first one that has a half in the sense zero and one it can display only zero and one the rest of the three digits those are indicating zero to nine digits so with the three and half digit display the counter value will be 0 0 0 0 2 1 9 9 9 so we want to consider the resolution resolution of that digital display so if the n number of full digits those are there then the resolution of that dvm or dmm is considered as a r is equal to 1 upon 10 raised to n n that as a full digit complete digit so with the three and half digit display the resolution will be n value will be coming as 3 so resolution will be coming as 1 upon 10 raised to 3 so it will be 0 0.001 so you can calculate the resolution what will be the resolution for one hold and for 10 hold range so this is the end